Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading. I just want to mention again, don't leave hashtags or links in your comments. Space your words out if they turn blue. Uh, those will get removed by the system because I notice a lot of people's very lovely comments are being removed. So try not to do that. Um, the next thing is all the bonus readings that I've been doing, the collective energies, um, I feel they are very much in alignment with the singles. So I'm wondering if doing singles readings twice a month and putting out a lot more of those uh, readings might suit people a little more. Let me know what you think. Okay, because I find the singles, people are watching them less and less for the most part um, because I feel those bonus readings align with people a little bit more. Okay, because it shows a collective and it doesn't matter what sign you are, there is collective energies. So let me know what you think. And we'll take it from there. So let's have a look at the overall energy for Aries singles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see angel of love, woman holding a coin. Now, this is somebody who definitely loves what they do, possibly for work. Someone's focused on their money. They're practical, sensible. Uh, but I feel some of you want love. Okay. Yeah. Some of you. Oh, we've got the king of pentacles here too, basically. You're the man holding a coin, a person. These are two people who are stable. So yeah, you've got a caring connection around you. It's about two people who care about each other. So, but like I say, I feel we've got two people who are focused more on their money, their finances, their stability, they are their love life, but it's both people who want a caring connection. So like I say, I feel like you've got some love coming in. Okay. Could be anybody. Yeah, we have someone doing some thinking. The feminine energy, because there is a masculine for this, doing some thinking, yeah. Someone here is thinking about uh, love. Yeah, someone here doing a lot of that, right in the heart of the reading. The thinking woman. And then we have the man holding a heart. And we have uh, some sort of opportunity. It's an opportunity coming in. So it could be just making peace with the past. Uh, but you, there's an opportunity. This is somebody who's in their feelings here. Someone's got some feelings. So you're, maybe you're thinking about this person. Yeah, there we go. Someone's thinking about you too. <laughs> so I see strategizing, a lot of analyzing, a strategy. So I feel it's an energy of the door to spirit. It's where this could be a spiritual connection where two people are being guided together, but you're both thinking about each other. But we have this person who's very much in their feelings. It's often someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. Uh, they open up. But someone is, is analyzing and strategizing here. Yeah. So let's dig into this and see what's happening this week. Tell me about this angel of love. Yeah, see so something here you might not see coming or there's some sort of indecision. So it's often when someone can't make a decision not or not ready to, but often what happens is you don't see this coming. Yep, someone's going to come in and ask you out. It's a date. It's a communication. It's someone taking action to communicate. Yeah, a cycle over, a new cycle beginning, windfall of abundance, good luck, timing. Everything's looking really good here. Yeah, we have somebody here waiting. So this could be someone, maybe you're waiting for this king of coins. And, you know, you may be starting to look elsewhere, but it could be this person as well. But this is an energy of a situation coming to fruition. It's expansion. It's about uh, making a choice, choosing the one. But some of you may have uh, someone here who couldn't make up their mind. Maybe it was on and off. And maybe you're, you know, thinking it's time to uh, let someone else in. Like I say, often the ship is sailed looking elsewhere. But, you know, things are about to go in your favor here. <laughs> They're about to go in your favor. You know, you've got a someone here with that King of Swords energy doing a lot of thinking. They're analyzing, strategizing, but it's an energy of someone who speaks truth. Somebody here maybe very much cares about you, uh, but it could be also this person ending a cycle with someone else looking elsewhere. Maybe there was something on and off between you or individually you have that energy. Look at that. Very, this is someone who wants to start something new. This is someone coming in to express themselves. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. It's an energy. And you can see this energy of building. Something is very positive. It's an energy of someone here who, there's something being acknowledged. This is someone acknowledging something. Okay. And it's truth. They speak truth. Maybe they want to know the truth if you're connected to someone else. It's possible some of you 
uh, may have been kind of waiting for someone here to ask you out and then this person comes in but i feel with this three of pentacles it has to do with uh, acknowledging the things you have in common okay compatibility uh, what both people bring to the table this person's kind of do, you know you can see they're strategizing th i feel they're thinking about what to say what to say when they communicate but they speak truth and they're looking for truth yeah they want to know if there's competition someone wants to know there could be some competition here but it's an energy of someone acknowledging uh, this they want this acknowledgement so uh, some of you too if you've had if you have somebody who you know where they have other options or there is competition you know because i feel like you're thinking about this the things you have in common okay but you're also looking at some sort of acknowledgement something needs to be acknowledged but i see something new so it's often just someone coming in to take action something that's worth fighting for but not you know often this it's just somebody who wants to know if there's any competition yeah it's morals values lifestyle the way someone conducts themselves it's an energy of having faith so some of you may you know you could decide to get off an emotional roller coaster with someone here and end it and look elsewhere yeah it's possible there was competition someone wasn't faithful for some of you but it's also an energy of loyalty lifestyle the things that two people have in common it's action it's having a good time so it's not that with this here i feel this five of wands is more like someone just taking action coming in to fight for something but it's lifestyle habits the way two people conduct themselves it's about being on the same page it's possible someone just wasn't on the same page with someone and they've left it behind so I feel for some of you, you might not see this coming because I see someone coming in to take action. But it's morals, values, lifestyles, the things that you have in common, the things that, you know, are, are in alignment. Tell me about the door to spirit. Tell me about this. Whoops, those two cards went flying. Yeah, so someone here is seeing truth. See, aha, they're going aha. <laughs> it has to do with commitment, morals, values, lifestyle. Yeah, it has to do with someone here who's coming up with some kind of idea too. Like they're strategizing and analyzing. So there's some sort of idea. Now this is often someone who sees someone in a different light because what they do is, they, this is someone who often paints a picture. They have a picture of someone in their mind, how they are the way they are. So now this is somebody here who might be kind of going, you know, seeing you in a whole different light here, but it's an energy of truth. Someone seeing some kind of truth. It has to do with whether someone's married. Someone's finding out some truth, whether you're in a relationship or not, or if there's competition. So, but I feel someone's taking action. It has to do with things that are going to be acknowledged that are going to make you very happy. It's very high vibrational. So I feel this is someone coming in. They like to have fun. I feel they're witty. Uh, someone who's very witty and charming, probably vice versa. You're going to be able to communicate with this person. You'll understand each other. King and Queen of Swords kind of energy. Yeah. What is this person strategizing and thinking here? yeah they're thinking oh yeah this is someone who finds you very sexy charming but this is also someone who knows what they want so now the queen of wands is a person who uh, generally um, has goals somebody who's goal oriented uh, it's also a person who um, often i feel some of you have, have, you're getting off something on and off um, you're pushing the stop button it no longer feels comfortable is what i feel because of this waiting it's an energy of wasting time someone wasting your time so this is why i feel some of you it's just a, like you know talk to the hand i'm now focused on someone else because i i feel we've got two people here ready to go down another path here yeah because i i do think you have a person here who like i say i feel like they you know they just kind of I mean, it's an energy of being open to love. I mean, it's an energy of love, wanting love, waiting. Um, so like I say, while you're waiting for someone here, I feel like you've got another person coming in and I feel they're happy, they're high vibrational. I feel like you can communicate with them well. They speak truth. And I feel, you know, this person's thinking about you. They're seeing, they're seeing you in the Queen of Wands, sexy, charming, goal-oriented, someone who likes to have fun, someone who's action-oriented. So this is what I feel. It's about your lifestyles and the way you both conduct yourselves. You like to have a good time. You know, I see being funny. 
But the interesting thing is this is somebody here who's really in their feelings with that thing, you know, wearing their heart on their sleeve, coming in to speak truth. This is someone who cares or they want to know, like I say, if there's competition. They're just going to say it like it is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, someone's, you're going to get some truth here. Yeah, see, choices, strategize. See, some of you, you have some sort of choice to make here in love, but it's about your path in love too. Yeah, you might have someone who's, yeah, look at that, you're manifesting each other, a little mirroring too, because you're both thinking about each other. And this is why I feel like some of you have been waiting for someone. And it's something maybe that's been on and off, but that cycle is over. And I feel it has to do with the timing. It's it's enough, like waiting, wasting time, wasting energy. And this other person comes in. Tell me about the three of wands. Yeah, there it is. Waiting for an op offer, an opportunity, fresh new start. See, looking elsewhere. Enough is enough kind of energy. And it could be this person uh, as well here. Tell me about this king of swords. This has to do with caring, somebody who really cares. But yeah, and I, I got to tell you, I feel like it's almost like somebody who didn't. And that's what you were waiting for is the cup. But I feel like you've got this other person because I feel it's, just, it's a cycle that's now ended. I feel uh, it's where you kind of turned your back. You've cut something out. You have another person coming in. Yeah, somebody who's more stable. So someone who speaks truth. They're looking for truth, too. And that's why I feel they're trying to find out if there's competition. And they're going to tell you. <laughs> but they're taking action. So, yeah, this is somebody definitely wanting to build. See, perfecting their craft and skills. They want to build something. This is also someone who works a lot, too. I feel their lifestyle habits. Maybe this is what you have in common. You both spend a lot of time focused on work and money. Um, but this is an energy of two people coming together. It's what you both bring to the table. And this is what I feel why you're going to take this other opportunity. If you've had this on and off with someone and they always keep you waiting. Well, you have a situation coming to fruition. I see a choice and I do see manifesting. It's two people who have everything they need but love here. Yeah, look at that. See, it's about partnering up. It's about stability. This is about building a legacy. This is a long-term connection. So it's an energy of, you know, somebody who's stable. Something to do with a house and a home, too. Uh, wow. Let's have a look at the Queen of Wands here. Aries. Yeah, see, some of you are walking away. You're leaving something behind. It wasn't emotion fulfilling. You see, it's looking elsewhere. This is what I feel. You've left it behind. And it could be yourself seeing the truth. Yeah. You got some, you got, you and another person are kind of thinking the same thing. You're on the same page. You're going to get each other. But I feel there's someone here you just don't get or someone who doesn't get you. So, yeah, there it is, breaking free. See, some of you are breaking free. This is someone who often just comes in when they want attention. Yeah, this is why I feel walking away, you know, um, you're no longer chasing after this, but someone is heading in your direction. And I feel, to be honest, it almost looks like they're breaking free from something too, but it has to do with victory and success. So a whole new cycle, you've got a whole new cycle beginning in your love life here. So very, very nice. Yeah, you're going to connect with someone uh, here, you're going to have a conversation, you're going to see eye to eye, you get each other, but see, this is where sometimes you break free from a situation where you just don't get somebody, you can't, it's where you can't understand why are they keeping you waiting if they're so interested, you see, because I see you being open to love after a period of waiting, yeah, the ship has sailed, it's too late, you've broke free, you have this other opportunity, often comes when you least expect it to, and that's what I feel is going to happen, and that's the way it usually is, yeah, see two people, spiritual love, connecting, seeing eye to eye, it's where you just kind of know, yeah, I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking, and I think this person already knows too, yeah, we got two people who don't get each other, and then you have this person where you're going to be more in alignment here. Yeah. See friends and family. You see soul, family, friends. You connect. This person sees this as something worth fighting for. But you see they're looking. This is someone who it has to do with morals and values, lifestyle, the way you conduct yourself. You see? And the way they conduct themselves, you're on the same page. But they're, like I say, there's this person here where you just don't get each other. 
<clears throat> you and this other person, I feel like you're going to get each other. And I do see that soul family connecting with other people. I see opportunities, dating. So you're going to connect with this person, maybe through a friend of a friend. So somebody, a faithful, loyal friend. I mean, this could be a friend or somebody just sees you that way. You know, but I feel there's a friend of a friend here. And often when I see that, I see somebody, people trying to get to, maybe there's a couple around you that are married. Two people who come together, they can overcome anything. And that's what I feel. And I've seen this before. Somebody who wants the same thing as other people have. So see, some of you have left something behind. You're seeing the truth and someone who will likely never commit. This is why spirit's guiding you to leave something behind. But this person feels drawn to you, guided towards you. Yeah, see, there you are. You're reflecting on past, leaving something behind. You're ready to go down this path. You're going to connect with this person. In fact, you mirror each other. Yeah, there's a new crush. See, it's an energy of longing for love, wanting love. And I do think the person coming towards you is going to show you they like you. They might give you a little gift or do something sweet. Uh, to tell them maybe you've done this in the past for somebody um, because I also see that reminiscing see sort of reflecting on the past some of you are reminiscing so this is an interesting energy because I feel like you're leaving this behind and you're moving you're seeing truth but I think this other person's going aha <laughs> You got a crush happening here. Two people longing for love. Look at that. Yeah, you got a person who's in a hurry here. Someone's in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. They see the truth. This is something worth going after. So very nice. But some of you have had a person who rushed in and then changed their mind. You see, maybe they feel like you just don't get each other. Your, your lifestyles aren't in alignment, whatever it may be. But the interesting thing is, is you have somebody here who's who feels they're in alignment with you so and they could be anyone but i do think there's a lot of thinking about kindness you know someone who cares uh, somebody who's kind and compassionate i mean you could have a person here who um i mean it could be people i i see a married couple here and i see someone kind of looking at the situation and it's like it's something that they want and they're trusting their inner knowing I feel like you know who this is. I mean, they're in your social circle, I feel. I don't know. Maybe you went to school with them. Maybe there was competition. I don't know. But like I say, it's often someone who reminisces about situation that happened. But it's the feminine here. See, I feel like you're no longer, you're focused on something else here. Who is this king of pentacles? Oops, yeah. Somebody who focuses on their money and moves very slow. They're assessing the situation. See, they it's an energy of somebody who, uh, I mean, it's very possible. You might have known this person, went to school, university, college, or you worked together at some point. A lot of focus on money, but it's also someone who's assessing the situation. They're looking at the details. They're a little apprehensive. They're not 100% sure. So it's often someone who kind of plays it a bit safe. But they're trying to think about how to communicate and what to say, you see. Yeah. But if you have someone who was dragging their feet, you know, it was on and off, and they only came in when they wanted attention, this is why I feel like you're no longer waiting. Because while you're waiting, you have this other opportunity. So there is an energy of competition. Yeah, you've got an invitation. This is someone who comes in right. See, building the foundation. See, there's already, I feel some of you, it's already someone you know that's a friend in your social circle. But others of you, it's somebody you may have went to school with, university, or worked with before. Yeah, it's like that, it almost feels like the one that almost got away. <laughs> but I don't think someone's going to let you get away. Yeah, but you can see, leaving something behind, searching for something else, looking for something better. Yeah, so you're letting it go, you're leaving it behind here, Aries. I see this new crush some of you maybe want children. Maybe it's a person who didn't want children. You just weren't, you know, it's just two people, I feel, who don't get each other. Yeah, you've got, this could end up in commitment, marriage. Somebody who's right. This is the realization that someone's just not right for, not right for you. Because why? For one thing, you're not someone who wastes a lot of time and energy waiting. You're action-oriented. If you want something, you go for it. And that's what I feel like you want. And that's what I feel like is coming towards you. A person who's taking action. They don't want you to get away. See, this is energy of that path that someone was on. You see, they're now seeing the truth. 
So this is, and I feel for, for yourself too, the path. You're looking at this past path you're now moving towards. This is, you know, getting ready for commitment, grounding yourself, being sensible and practical. And I feel like you're going to have this realization when this offer and opportunity comes in. If you get an invitation to hang out with friends or family, even married couples, take it because that's where I feel like you're going to connect with this person. You might know them, you might not. It could be an acquaintance or just someone that you didn't know, some people in your social circle that you, you don't know because I feel, you know, look at that, looking at that pinnacle. Yeah, see, looking at, there's someone here you no longer see a future with. They're moving too slow. But I also feel it's an energy of friends first. So some of you, when this offer comes, you might just want to be friends first. I feel this person's sincere. I feel they're going to say yes. I think you're going to say yes to an invitation, a celebration. You're feeling guided. Spirit, I feel, is guiding you. But you're being guided to uh, leave this past in the past here. Yeah, I think you know that you've got, there's someone here who will just keep you waiting. It's often a person who comes in, you know, they get jealous or something, they come in and uh, then they turn around and do the exact same thing again. And this is what I feel you're looking at, the feminine here, okay? You're going to be very sensible about this. Yeah, this offer, it's stable. This is a person who's stable. They actually want to build a foundation on friendship, they're, they're, this is someone who doesn't care as long as they can be with you and spend time with you. But this other person, like I say, they come in when they want attention. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make a sudden decision. This is where you have this massive epiphany. You're seeing truth. But I feel like this person that's coming in, they're going to approach you. They're going to have a conversation uh, with you. But you're leaving the past in the past and you're moving forward. Yeah, see, some of you are single. Someone's finding out you're single too. So this is something I feel that's already happened. You're single. <laughs> yeah, looking out for yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labor, taking care of yourself. Beautiful energy. Yeah, it's an energy of making a life path choice in love. Someone who's stable, they actually want to partner up. Someone who actually wants a partner. A sharing, caring connection. Two people who actually care about each other. It's when you realize someone who keeps you waiting doesn't really care about you. They care more about themselves. So this is, and it's always good. Yeah, both people always look out for yourself first and foremost. But what we have is... Um, two single people yeah so a situation's ended and this is a transition little time possibly in between but I feel like you've got this person too who's also ended a situation but I feel like it yourself the past is over it's now time to move forward see this is where this you're just not in alignment with someone and you're in alignment with someone else so I also see someone looking it's too good to be true it can't be possible they're so excited that you're still single <laughs> some of you are just focusing on work your lifestyle maybe you're learning something new um, new skills maybe taking courses things like that you've been keeping yourself busy but I feel like this is somebody here who I do feel like you have someone who gets jealous when you try to move on then they get jealous but then you look at it and you look at the details this other person's stable see they you're in alignment I feel there's people that you know like-minded people the type of people you like to spend time with where this other person possibly not uh, not so much and this is the thing but you want somebody who uh, is a, not afraid to share their feelings and emotions and that's what someone's going to do they're just going to come in but watch out for that jealous person who may uh, try to um, come back in but I feel like you know the situation doesn't serve this other person serves you better it's better for your lifestyle your habits yeah see you can't trust this other person you you know you can't trust them someone who's always kept you waiting and it's possible you've had something on and off with this person okay and this is why I feel like you know anybody who's your type I feel takes action something that's worth fighting for so, but the coolest thing is it's, it, there's this couple I feel here where somebody's looking at it. They want what they have and they see you as that person. And I feel like you see it too. So it's like like-minded friends, that social circle. So very, very nice. But yeah, somebody here who moves too slow, you can't trust them, you know, but you have a person. And I do feel there's some trust issues, but it's also, I see energy of being frustrated here. So, and that's where I feel you're just going to ground yourself. I feel that, like I say, I feel like you just don't see a future with them. 
You know, they're just not the one. This other person coming in is somebody who's more in alignment. Yeah, see, it's someone who breadcrumbs, tosses hints. See, you're no longer giving. See, you're, it's talk to the hand, basically, you know, sorry, but, you know, I'm now, I'm, I'm now focused on something new. See, leaving it behind, taking a leap of faith. You're going down a new path because you want love. Yeah, and I feel there's someone else who wants that with you as well. So beautiful energy. Take it how it best resonates. Yep, you've got this person. They are they are a kind and caring person, very compassionate. Yeah, see, choosing the one. This is you and another person. There's going to be a lot of talk and communication about um, your lifestyles, just all these things that you have in common. Uh, I feel like you have a lot more in common with one person than the other. But And I also, I'm going to be honest, for some of you, I do feel like there's this person where you actually did have a fair bit in common, but they didn't see it. They didn't want to look at it. I feel they, uh, they weren't very generous with their time and energy. They only came in when they wanted something. But when you wanted attention from them or were feeling lonely, this person would you know, toss those breadcrumbs. They weren't generous. The other person is much more generous with their feelings, emotions. Uh, I feel they share of themselves. They give you the time. So yeah, see, there was some heartache. It's when you have that realization that someone really doesn't care because if they cared, they would come in. <laughs> so there's been heartache here. But the interesting thing is this other person is someone who will care and they'll show you. Okay, they may have that similar, they may be similar to the other person, but the difference with this person is they're more generous with their time and energy, their feelings. They'll, this is someone you'll know you're loved with this person, you'll know, okay, because they'll do nice things, sweet things, they'll look out for you, they'll, yeah, and I, I like, I love this because I feel they see you as the one. So it's almost like there's something in alignment, something that's meant to be, and that that's where I feel. This is a person who's going, you know what? This is where I need to be. Yeah, this is where I need to be. I need to be on this path. They're, you know, feeling kind of guided. They feel that pull. So, but I feel they're going to build that foundation because it's everything that they could ever want. So this is hopes and dreams. This is an energy where it's mutual, where you mutually feel the same. And I do see mutual people probably uh, trying to connect the two of you, but it is possible there's someone here, if, if there is a mutual friend for some of you, you might have a person who's jealous in that social circle of someone else because they see that Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, because I, I mean, they're looking at someone they see takes care of themselves, they look good, they look successful, you know, they look like they, you know, they know what they want, they're not afraid to go for it. It's also someone who's generally not afraid to walk away, see, leave the past in the past. But I feel it's just youthful, fun, playful, having a good time. And that's what I feel. Um, I feel like you're going to have a good time with somebody here. I see good times ahead. Yeah, you've got an emperor. This is someone who's an emperor. They know what they want. They're going for it. So, and it could work out different. Like I say, some of you might have someone new and then this person comes in. They might decide to tell you how they feel. But this is where you have to look at this and decide if this is if they're going to do the same thing they did before because it looks like it was something on and off and there's been heartache like fool me once fool me twice fool me three times you know yeah i i feel most of you are going for this person who uh, i feel has mastered the elements of all the kings i feel they're stable financially i feel they're emotionally mature and available they know a good thing when they see it uh, they are somebody I feel who's loyal and faithful. They will commit. And this is where I feel like you know this other person just won't commit. Okay? That's when I feel like you're going to have those moments. So, But always look out for yourself first and foremost. I feel you're very independent too. So uh, often people who are independent, other people kind of like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Well, this is somebody who actually likes somebody who has that independent energy. They can take care of themselves. They don't need a ton of attention because they have their own goals and aspirations. So this could be the person you're in alignment with. Take care. Wish you the best. And we'll see you soon.